Hello, and welcome back to yet another video. I told you all I was upping my game this summer, and have I let you down yet? I don't think so. For today's video, we're getting back to what the people want to see, and that is UC Davis content. I just wrapped up my second year as a civil engineering student at UC Davis. I thought it'd be cool to go over all the classes I've taken thus far because I also just wrapped up my lower division classes. That's all the physics, chemistry, math, the foundational stuff that isn't fun at all. So we're gonna go through every quarter, talk about briefly, because if I go on for a long time, that'll be a very long video, briefly talk about every class that I've taken. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe because like I said, I'm upping my game this summer. Let's begin, shall we? <laughs> First, I'm gonna mention AP classes in high school. I did take some AP classes and despite taking and passing AP tests, I didn't pass any of those tests with a high enough score to get me out of any classes at Davis. The only thing that AP test scores got me in college was I didn't have to take an English placement exam. Moving on to college classes. Starting off with my freshman fall quarter, fall 2019. I'm gonna move this over here because I know editing me is gonna want this blank wall right here. <laughs> I do appreciate that. So in fall of 2019, I took Classics 30, ECI 3, Math 21A, and Musics 11. Let's start with Classics 30 F, which I think the F is just, it was a freshman only class. Classics 30 F was Greek and Latin word roots with Professor Timothy Brilinski. I have to say this is one of my favorite classes I've taken at Davis to date. Not only was the class relatively easy if you made time in your week to memorize a lot of stuff, but Professor Brilinski was an incredible professor. He's got to be one of my favorites I've had easily. Yeah, this class was just a lot of memorization of Greek and Latin word roots. I had to memorize the Greek alphabet in capitals and lowercase, which was actually very interesting. We had weekly quizzes, but they were not bad at all. I'm trying to remember, I don't remember if we had just weekly quizzes and then a final, or if we had midterms in the midst of the weekly quizzes, I don't remember. But either way, the final is not bad, the quizzes weren't bad, and I got out of that class with a good grade. Moving on to ECI 3, Civil Infrastructure and Society with Professor Darby. I met Professor Darby at decision day when I was still in high school. My parents and I got to talk with her about engineering, her class, and whatnot, so I was excited to take her class going into it. I really enjoyed that class. We had a lab throughout the week that had interesting stuff in it. We took a, we biked to the UC Davis wastewater treatment plant for a field trip, which was super cool. Only a civil engineer would say wastewater treatment plant is, and I quote, super cool. I was first introduced to trusses in that class, which was a great engineering introduction because trusses are trusses, and as a civil engineer, those are kind of a thing. <laughs> that you're gonna deal with in coming classes. Overall, it was a great introduction class. I did a, I made a resume in that class. That class just had a lot of useful, practical, very foundational engineering things that we did. I enjoyed that class. Next, we have Math 21A, which is calculus with Professor Howie. I don't think he's technically a professor. He may be now, but I think he was a like assistant professor. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, but he wasn't, we didn't call him Professor Howie. So UC Davis has a few calculus series. It has the 16 series, which is short calculus, 17 series, which is calculus for bio sci, then 21 series is this calculus that like all the engineers have to take and like math majors and whatnot. And as an engineer, I had the privilege of taking the whole 21 series, A, B, C, and D. But let's just talk about A right now. This class was a lot of review from calculus in high school because 21A was just derivative calculus. It, we didn't even get into integrals in this class. So it was a lot of high school calculus review, except we did like delta epsilon proofs and just some new stuff that wasn't covered in high school. So yeah, it was definitely a challenge with that new stuff that everyone was like, whoa, that's kind of not the calculus we kind of knew in co in high school or whatever. Yeah, but overall, that being the first calculus class and I had taken it in high school wasn't that bad. I would say, oh, I recommend, but if you have to take it, you have to take it. If you don't have to take it, you don't have to take it. So I guess me recommending doesn't really mean anything because either you have to take it or you don't. I don't. And lastly for fall 2019 is Musics 11, which was Musics of the World with Professor Snyder. Now, this class had... I think any professor you get is gonna teach it very differently. I know a friend of mine had it this a few quarters ago and really enjoyed it because of her professor made it 
enjoyable. Mine, he was nice and everything, but I just, his teaching style kind of wasn't for me. The lectures were an hour and a half or two hours, I don't remember. Either way, it was hard to sit through them. I think that class has to set a record for number of times I've fallen asleep in a class. Oh, we had to do, we had an assignment where we had to go to the Mondavi Center, which is like the performing arts center on campus, and see a musical performance, so that was cool. But yeah, not my favorite class, but like, I'd recommend it. I did recommend it to friends, actually. Alright, those four classes wrap up my first quarter at UC Davis, and may I mention my only quarter where I was in person for the entirety of it. Moving into winter 2020, it was week 10 of that quarter that things with corona were kicking up and our finals week was online and everything. So fall 2019 was the only quarter that I was in person for the whole thing. For winter 2020, we have Chem 2A, English 3, History 17B, and Math 21B. Chem 2A was General Chemistry with Professor Velasquez. Chem 2A was my very first general chemistry class. As a civil engineer, I only had to take Chem 2A and B. There is a 2C within the two series, but I didn't have to take it. He was a great professor and made this class probably as enjoyable as it could have been. We had some really awesome experiments that he brought in and we got to see in person. It was fantastic. Despite chemistry being a hard subject, that class was, it's interesting, despite it being hard. And chemistry is one of those things where it's like, if you actually, when it clicks, it's like, whoa, like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I also, of course, had my Chem 2A lab with this class, which was the first, like, lab lab, and pretty much only lab lab, that I've had at Davis with the lab coat, the goggles, the strict attire you have to wear, the pre-labs, the post-labs, everything. After I moved online, I did have the pre-labs and post-labs and stuff, but, like, we didn't have to perform the labs our Self. they like did it for us and just showed us what we would have done and it wasn't the same so yeah for this class it was super cool to have an actual lab that I got to do despite it being kind of a lot of work for the post lab and stuff doing the labs was pretty cool I enjoyed it moving on to English 3 intro to literature with professor I'm not gonna say it I don't want to butcher it it doesn't look that hard but I feel like I never said it correctly when I had her as my professor so I'm not gonna try now every ENL 3 class can pick a theme mine happened to be nature if I'm recalling correctly that's just the theme that she picked for our class so all of the books we read the papers we wrote all somehow tied into nature in one way or another she was a great professor fantastic super understanding I had a week where I had like four midterms within two days and I had a paper for her class and I was like can I please get an extension? Without hesitation, said yes. So I appreciated her very much. It's hard to speak on ENL3 as like a general thing because I know for a fact that every single ENL3 class is very different. My roommate took it, hers was very different from mine. It really depends on the quarter and the professor because they really have a lot of free will with, the, with that class. But yeah, mine was great. It was the smallest class by far I've ever had at Davis. So yeah, I enjoyed my ENL3 class. Moving on, I had History 17B, which was History of the U.S. after the Civil War, with another professor whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce because I don't want to butcher it. This class had very long lectures, and they were very boring. Ugh, I don't know. The teaching style was very, um, not it. For me, I was not engaged. And also, it being a history class, I, of course, had to write a lot of essays. And as an engineering major, you can imagine I don't really enjoy that. <laughs> like I'd rather sit down and do a math assignment for six hours than write an essay for six hours. But whatever, it was fine. I had a good TA for that class too, so it was it was it was it was good. It was good. Lastly for winter quarter we have Math 21B, which was the next calculus class that I had to take. It was integral calculus with professor and I actually know how to say this one despite it being difficult watch it be wrong but like he said he used to say it a decent amount professor Soshnikov now this class I was hanging on by a thread and in addition to hanging on by a thread my final got cancelled because of covid stuff and I was like I'm gonna fail I'm gonna fail the final was my last chance to pass and then when my professor was putting in homework grades I don't remember what the exact numbers were one of my assignments he accidentally put in like a 100 out of 10 like he added an extra zero or some mistake like that and so my grade shot up from like a 50 <laughs> <laughs> to like a hundred and twelve and I was like 
that's not right so i emailed him and i was like i don't think this is right <laughs> and he was like super nice and he was like yeah as, he's like as much as i wish i could give you 112 in the class that was wrong blah 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 whatever he said i had a like 52 percent in the class and like 52.4 or something and he was trying to figure out if you wanted to make the curve cut off for a c minus like a 53 or a 52 or something and obviously if you made it 53 i wouldn't have passed but 52 i would have passed by like a 0.4 five minutes after the initial email he sends another one saying as a reward for your honesty i'm gonna make the cutoff of 52 or whatever it was and so i passed by that much <laughs> Yeah, that class was quite difficult. About the first half of it, I had learned in high school already. But then, once I got about halfway through that class, we, we got out of the stuff I'd learned in high school already. And I was like, mm hmm I was like, this doesn't make any sense. But you know, we did it. We got through it, by the grace of God. Moving on to spring 2020. My very first quarter entirely online. Throwback to thinking that would be the only quarter online. We had Chem 2B, ECI 16, Gel 50, and Math 21C. Chem 2B was just my next general chemistry class that I had to take, and that was with Professor Donadio, Donadio, no one knew how to say it. He never introduced himself, I'm convinced. Online lab, labs in person take like three hours. These would take maybe 45 minutes. They would, the TA would be like, show a presentation. This is what you would do. Here's some fake data or data that they acquired. Do your post lab with that. This class was, it was harder than 2A, 100%. I had a friend in this with me. I felt like I wasn't struggling through it alone so that was good i don't have much to say about this class it was just another chem class i had to get through it and i did so next is eci 16 spatial data analysis with i literally have no idea what professor i couldn't tell you prepping for this i was like who was my professor i don't remember anything about that class if i'm being quite honest with you <laughs> except i remember the final group project because it was like a 17 page analytical report or something like that. Take a look at this. Take a gander. We made these maps from scratch and made a report. Now that I think about it, I think the bulk of the class was lab. Oh, that was the class where we did... Okay, yeah, we did CAD, we did a little bit of coding, and we did GIS. That's what it was. That's what the class was. I enjoyed AutoCAD. We only had a few weeks of it though, which was kind of lame. Anyways, GIS was super interesting. It was super cool to make maps with that. I don't remember what coding system we used for that class, but I remember I didn't like it. Next we have Gel 50, which is physical geology with Professor Pinter. He was a super nice professor. I enjoyed that class. It was interesting, as interesting as geology can be. I felt it was super fair. I met some, like, two friends in that class who I haven't talked to in a hot minute. We got through that class together. I don't have much to say about this class. It was very, very reasonable. For my major, I could either take Biz 2A, which is like biology, or Gel 50, and I've heard nothing but not fantastic things about Biz 2A, so I was like, okay, I'll take geology. And then I also have to take a lab for that class, which I'm gonna talk about that later. Next for spring 2020 was Math 21C with um, another professor whose name I'm not gonna say because I don't want to butcher it again. Luli, no one knew how to say it. This class, the lectures were rough. They didn't make a lick of sense, to be honest with you. I think 21C may be the class, the calculus class where I was the most like, what is happening? Oh, another thing, the midterms for my particular class. I feel like a lot of things that I'm saying are just for my, like classes are gonna vary per, per professor, but for this class online, the way his tests were set up was like, fill in the blank, like online. So you couldn't get partial credit. It was very stressful and hard to get grade grades on the test because there wasn't any partial credit, which I feel like is so important on math tests. So I don't know, I did not enjoy that class. Summer session two of summer 2020. I took Eng6 engineering problem solving with Professor Yankilovich. <laughs> this was a MATLAB class. It was coding, that kind of stuff. I don't have a ton, to say about this class, it was coding. I'm not a huge fan, but I managed to get through it. Made a final project, which was super interesting. I'm gonna link that video in the description because it is on YouTube. It's our recorded presentation of a game that we had to create. We had to create a game. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the description. That was it for summer of 2020. So let's move into sophomore year 
I'm thoroughly convinced that my camera battery dies in every single video. Fall 2020, sophomore year, we had Eng 3, Math 21D, Physics 9A, and I took the geology lab for three weeks until I had to drop it. Eng 3 was intro to engineering design with Professor Molin. This class satisfied my communications requirement. I could either take this class or communications one, which is public speaking. This class had public speaking in it, except we were public speaking on things that we made. I had a group that I was with for the entire quarter. We did some mini projects at the beginning of the quarter, but then we had a pretty much quarter long, maybe three quarters of the quarter <laughs> long project. Here is the poster that we did. I'll put in the cards, whichever side that's on. A video of me working on the cane. I it was in one of my vlogs from fall quarter. We got the prototype working with all the technology that we implemented on it. It was fantastic. I was so proud of it. I'm actually living next year with a girl who I met in that class. She was my group and now she's taking my current roommate's spot next year in my apartment. So yeah, that class was fine. Had a lab had a lecture. Lecture was hecka easy. Lab could be annoying, depending on your TA, <laughs> if you know you know. <laughs> I have a story for that class. Next I'll talk about Math 21D, which was vector analysis with Professor Sumter, but he wasn't a professor, just like my Math 21A class. So we just called him by his first name, Josh. Vector analysis, going into it, people had described it to be so difficult. It was 100% difficult but people had made it sound so much more difficult than it was, for me at least. I still did not get a fantastic grade, but it was equal pretty much with the rest of my math grades. So I was going into that class like, oh my word, like I'm not gonna pass. Everyone hypes it up in a bad way. Everyone says it's bad. But I liked my professor. I liked how he taught the subject, so maybe, and how he did grades, so maybe that helped me out, I don't know. Next is um Physics 9A with Professor Blitz, also not a professor. So we just called him Sam. I have a story for this class as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell it because I don't want to. In short, something that happened in this class, <laughs> how do I say this? I don't wanna say ruined my life, but put an incredible damper on my life for about seven months. But disregarding that specific situation pertaining to me, Physics 9A is not bad, it's just, uh, yes, it's hard. It's hard. My professor was difficult as well. Yeah, it's a lot of work, 9A, um, and of course that'll vary depending on your professor, but it is just like foundational physics. It's like forces, force of gravity. Your basic physics concepts. Davis also, similar to math, has multiple classical physics series. Of course, engineers have to take the hardest one. <laughs> ah, civil engineering, I have to take 9A, 9B, 9C, which I'm all done with now. Ah, but there is a physics 9D, which is modern physics, which I thankfully do not have to take. Shout out. But yeah, overall 9A, it's it's 9A, it's physics. Uh, basically it's what you think of when you think of physics. And I just personally had a really subpar experience with it. <laughs> mm. But don't worry, I'm sure that won't happen to you. I'll briefly discuss Gel 50 Lab. Um, basically I, so I am home now. I was home for the last quarter and summer following freshman year. And then I went to Davis to live in Davis at the beginning of sophomore year. And I was, um, come on, you say miserable. I ended up finishing out that quarter, going back and forth between home multiple times a week. I was not doing all right. <laughs> So that, my friends, is when your girl decided to switch from a four-year program to a five-year program. Best decision of my life. And kind of around that same time, I said, I am dropping my Gel 50 lab. Why, you may ask? Because it was two units, and I was spending so many hours a week doing the labs. It was horrible we had like three hours of lab twice a week so six hours total i would work on it all during the three hour lab and then i would have to spend the like the rest of the night doing it as well and that wasn't just me like others in the class most people in the class said the same thing they're like why is this so much work for two units week three i dropped it i was like i can't do this and i'm switching to a five-year program and now i'm scheduled to 
take that lab again my very last quarter of my fifth year so moving on winter 2021 eng 35 math 22a physics 9b eng 35 was statics with professor bolander great professor one of my favorites i'd say eng 35 i genuinely enjoyed kind of mm, dependent on the day and no not statistics it's not a misspelling not a mispronunciation statics i can't tell you how many times i say that class and people were like statistics i'm like no fun fact two different things two very different things very different things this class is like my very first very basic taste of like structural engineering within civil engineering and i got a good grade in the class didn't mind the class but i think it just emphasized to me that I don't think I want to do structural within civil engineering. I don't know, maybe that'll change, but despite the class being totally fine, I think I was like, I don't know if I like want to make this my, anything similar to this in my career, I don't know. But I enjoyed the class, great professor, would recommend. Linear algebra, that sounds simple. Linear algebra, you hear the word algebra, you're like, oh, okay. Okay, ninth grade. But no, it's, I, <laughs> maybe it would be good with a good professor. I wouldn't know what that's like. Lecture was pretty much useless. I stopped going because he had the lecture notes written up already and lecture was just him reading through them. He wouldn't write anything, just read through them. So I was like, I know how to read. <laughs> I can do this on my own time, you know what I mean? So that's what I did. That was my very first math class that was not curved. <laughs> and you girl hung on by a thread. When I say I passed by like point zero seven or something like that i literally mean i passed by like point zero seven it was fantastic and terrifying at the same time definitely one of my least favorite math classes despite it being probably should have been the easiest but i didn't have a i didn't have i nah my experience with it was not great i was chilling for the first part of it i was like this is easy but then i realized the other class was like way ahead of us they were learning things i was like what is that that's difficult i just what happened was we were going so slow at the start that everything just got thrown on us at the end and i was so overloaded i was like what's going on <laughs> i have no idea what's going on and that was reflected in my grade um i don't i blame the style of the class it was also just university math so it was hard in general moving on physics 9b with professor weidman weidman I don't know. I take three physics classes. This is my favorite, 100%. Of course, it was a physics nine class at Davis, so it was difficult, but it was the most interesting to me out of all of them. It, like, we dealt with mirrors, lenses, waves, a variety of things. I don't know. It was, I don't know. I found it to be the most interesting. My professor was nice. I had no complaints. I uh, would recommend, so, um, yeah. And lastly, the quarter I just finished, spring 2021, the last quarter of sophomore year. We had Math 22B, Physics 9C, and Psych 1. Math 22B was differential equations, and I had Professor Romick? Romick? Why do I actually, I'm not confident in any of my professor's names. That's kind of funny. This was my very last, like, straight up math class that I ever had to take, ever. Of course, I'm doing engineering, so there's going to be math, like, applied math in, like, all my other classes, but it was my, my last just math class. This class was a challenge because it was so abstract that it was hard to wrap your brain around. I was like, if this is still a lower division class, I don't even want to know what upper division math is like. I commend anyone who's ever taken or plans to take an upper division math class. Couldn't be me. I made a really good friend in this class. That was fantastic. This professor, he was really nice. A lot of people didn't like his teaching style. I kind of agree i don't know it was like people were like oh this class is so self-taught and it definitely was he was nice the homework kind of had nothing to do with the lecture the we used a really random textbook but what can you do it was fine i am so ecstatic to be done with math though next physics 9c with another professor i don't know how to pronounce his name physics 9c my last physics class with professor curl for this class with this professor, I didn't find the lectures very helpful because they were pretty much word for word like the textbook we used. He just kind of like, I don't know. I found the textbook to be like satisfactory. Physics 9C is a trip. Basically math 21D, vector analysis applied to things. It's a lot. The curve was so thick. I think like 40, percent or something in the 40s maybe 45 or something i think i want to say like low 40s was passing with a c minus if that tells you anything about how difficult the class is i honestly didn't think i was gonna be able to get through it like i kid you not i almost registered for summer session it was 
<laughs> ah, physics 9C, that's what it was. I'm so glad to be done with it. I think one of the only things getting me through that class is that I had in the back of my mind at all times, this is my last physics class, I just have to get through this. And lastly, we have psych one, general psychology with professor, not gonna attempt the last name again. This had to have been the easiest class I've ever taken in my life. I've mentioned a few of my physics, math grades. I think I've threw the number 50% out there a few times. And this class, nothing close to that. Wait, I kind of just made a TikTok about this. Let's watch it together, shall we? <laughs> oh, it's kind of a joke, but it's just like, it's funny how difficult it is to get good grades in like the classes that I was used to taking. And then this, I literally put in minimal effort and got like 100%. <laughs> That's just the very first psych class. So I don't know if that may be the case for moving forward, but it's just funny the difference that I personally found. Professor, fantastic. If you're gonna take psych one at Davis, you're very likely to get this professor because I'm pretty sure she teaches it like most quarters. Highly recommend. She is so nice, makes the class so easy. She's so understanding. She's so nice. I don't know. She's great. And I've come to learn I do find interest in psychology. With that, it's getting a little dark, so I'm scared the lighting's gonna get awful at any minute. It's probably already gotten worse. But yeah, I am done with lower division, except that geology lab that is still hanging out there, unfortunately. But I'm not worried about that. I am done with lower division and i am now registered for upper division classes starting in the fall fluid mechanics mechanics and materials and i don't even know getting into the 100 series but yeah i'm gonna wrap this up those are the classes that i have taken in my first two years at uc davis they've been difficult they've been challenging they've been so many things fun at times most of the time not but you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, if you have any questions about any of these classes, I know I did not go into depth about content of like any of them. Feel free to message me, comment, ask, and I will answer questions. And remember that anything I said about any of these classes are totally my experience. And from professor to professor, quarter to quarter, year to year, person to person, your experience is gonna be different. So you really can't bank on what one person says. For example, I've read Rate My Professor reviews that are so different from my personal experience with any given professor. So it's like hard to base your expectations for a class off of like what other people are saying. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure to subscribe. I'm stepping up my game. As I've told you, this is already like video three of the summer. And yeah, I can't wait to make more. I'll do Davis stuff. I'll do travel stuff. I'll do random things vlogs. You already know. You already know that they're coming. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!